I need to do a little take? Yeah, we're always doing a slate. Boom! See? That's Look at that! What's up guys, it's JD with Rover TV. I'm here with Jacob from Front, front Porch Step. Yes sir. I'm here with Nick Santino, right? Hi. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, <laughs> how you guys been so far? The tour has been fantastic. It's awesome. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, what's uh, what's been the favorite date so far? Probably Pomona Ventura. You said you have some new stuff coming out? Is that... I don't know if I have new stuff coming out. I'm always writing. There's a lot of stuff happening after War Tour. It is a fan of my music. I've got a lot to look forward to in the next couple months. And you just dropped an album about a month ago. I did, yeah. It's uh, called Big Skies. I put it out May 27th. And I'm playing some tunes from it on this tour right now. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, what is what are some of the influence that you put into into the album? Um, I think it's got a lot of everything in there. Mostly like a Jackson Brown, Tom Petty kind of feel to it. I'm trying to do like a modern take on those guys. So if you guys could choose any fast food restaurant and you had to eat it for the rest of your life, what would that be? <laughs> fast food for the rest of my life. Is Chipotle fast food? Yes. Oh, Chipotle. Oh, wow. No, no it's doubt. Going heavy because I can I can eat rice. Without anything one day, I can get steak, I can get chicken, I can get barbacoa. He is very smart. You're a very smart man. Yeah, thank you, man. That's, you're the first person to tell me that. It feels really great. Thank you. I'd say probably Panera Bread. That's good. Just straight up. The, the, the classiest of the fast food, right? Yeah. Yeah, somebody's really rich. So. <laughs> Yeah, so you're really rich for the rest of your life. Like, I always get the Red Bulls because I feel like I get more out of it. You know? Yeah, I love thirty dollars. So if you had to choose to wipe your ass with Saran Wrap or sandpaper, what, what would you choose? Wow. Probably go with light grit sandpaper. Probably like yeah, definitely sandpaper. No, it's heavy. It's heavy. But then you just wipe slow. <laughs> I'd still probably do sandpaper. <laughs> you know, do it nice and slow. It <laughs> also depends on the temperature outside. Because if it was cold, if it was cold, Saran Wrap might be all right. But if it's like 104. Maybe we might have some problems. That's a little. That's a little much. Should we be? Should I be specific? If you could bring back one one musician from the Twenty Seven Club, what would that be? Who would that be? Jim Morrison. I don't know the fuck the Twenty Seven Club is. It's all the club. dudes and the chicks that died. They died at Twenty Seven. Janis Joplin, Kurt Cobain, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Oh yeah. Um. Like, what if I brought back? Like Jimi Hendrix, and he was just like fucking Madonna, like you know, like like not doing shit, like just, or living in your basement. Yeah, just <laughs> do I bring back Jimi Hendrix, and he becomes like a meth addict? Like what is, I don't know, fucking yeah. This I, guy's probably, and then you destroy his life again, or something like that. Is that, well, is like, that the worry? Yeah. Like, if you brought him back, they'd probably all just last like another year. I'd probably bring back Kurt Cobain and not tell anyone, and buy him like a fucking house on a separate island, so like people still buy him dead, but can live his life the way he wanted to live. If that's a better answer. It's a serious answer. Yeah, serious. <laughs> so, who gets in the most trouble? I mean, me and Nick only know each other through tours, so I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty good. I don't drink or do anything like that, so I'm just kind of... I'm more of just an obnoxious asshole, so I feel like I just... I might get in trouble a lot. I don't know. I'm too much of a pussy to get in trouble. I don't do anything bad. <laughs> I'm a pussy too. I just put on a really good front. I'm one of those people, like, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk shit to someone and just, like, pray in my head that they won't fight me. <laughs> like, motherfucker, I will kill you. And then they, like, they're like, really? I'm like, nah. <laughs> let's, oh, dude. Oh, let's, let's fucking, let's leave. He's scared. <laughs> when was the last time you cried and why? Oh, man. I cried, like, four nights ago because I missed my fucking dog. And that's, oh, wow. that's just honest. <laughs> I can't think of the last time I cried. Uh, probably over something really dumb. It's like bag tag you really hard, like right now. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just too tough. Yeah, too tough. Man, that, that, that doesn't cry. Big man, Tino. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, thanks again, guys. No problem, and uh, this is Jay with Urban TV uh, here with the front porch step. Yes, sir. And Nick Santino. The Nick Santino step. Yo, this this is Jake with Rivet TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. We're just gonna use that. <laughs>